especially in Smash. Like, there's not guarantees in, like, you know, baseball, for example. You know, granted, the Yankees are typically going to be better just because of uh, how they have regulations and stuff, but that's a typical thing. There are upsets that, that occur. So. There's always an upset. Um, so. But, you know, but Smash, on the other hand, there's just so many, like, weird interactions that can occur and just, like, execution errors because the game just doesn't really promote, you know, well, the perfect, like every, if you might do an input proper, but it's just not going to execute exactly how you do it either. So it's just like, it's super inconsistent because it's by such minimal frames and it's not like interacting with, uh, say, like a fight stick or, you know, a lot of those traditional fighters where they, like, the inputs are very uh, defined. Yeah. I still enjoy S Smash, but. Oh, but yeah, I know. I'm, I, that, I'm, not, I'm not ragging on it. For like that, I'm just saying that there's like a lot of level of inconsistency, so it's like even harder to say that somebody's gonna win against somebody else. Yeah. Um, Unless it's anybody facing me. <laughs> Unless you're just really bad, sure. But if you're looking at like two people who are on the very similar skill level, it's, um, it comes down to those weird. I feel like it comes down to that, where if somebody's playing really well versus like Somebody somebody's subpar, or, yeah. So it comes down to the good days and the bad days. So far, it's looking like... <laughs> that's, that's what these... Did. Like, honestly, a lot of these uh, recent events have kind of come down to. But uh, Mooch kind of cleaning it up. Oh. oh. Oops. Ah, you reset them. That's okay. So I'll type it in. All right, so player one is Mooch. Move. Yeah. Oh, I want to capitalize that. That would be looks... nice. There's people like capitalization. Yeah. And then shiny. Update. Right. So now they're on proper sides. Yeah. Uh, but so far it's looking like Mooj got that stock lead and building as much percent as he can before Shiny pulls some weird jank and maybe goes for the down air down air combo. It's like you didn't trust me to hand the money. I know. But that's a chomps. I yeah. trust no one. Yeah, he's just right. No one. Oh, Shiny trying to get the barrel kill. Unfortunately, did not get the uh, detonation where it uh, actually impacts the uh, horizontal or lateral stage. Yeah. So, looking at some good plays here, seeing if Shiny can pull this back. Uh, Even if he takes the sock, he might not be able to. I mean, it's only 60%. He's gonna get it. No, my god, Corrin's so fat. Oh my goodness. She's thick. Oh. That's Shiny some extra 17. Some really bad damage. Oh my, oh, my lord. God. This is getting uh, exponentially not as good for Shiny. Yeah. I almost, like, it's one of those games where it's just like, all right, I'll just throw it. I'll, I'll give it to you. Yeah. And just move on to the next. Let's just all see. Right, this one comes to its logical through, through, conclusion yeah. here. I know Shiny does have some wake-up moments where he has some, like, six zero to deaths. Or he'll start the six zero to death, and then he'll just, like, SD. Yeah. Oh, I that like that? Mario. Almost. <sighs> I do that a lot with Mario. I just do really well on one stock, then just mess up the other one. But yeah, at this point, he needs to play like effectively as perfect as he possibly can, uh, just to bring this back. Yeah, like, he's doing a decent job so far. He's got to play that neutral like a madman, though. Because if yeah, Corrin's pin, it's like Corrin's neutral is un like super scary, and that's oh, and that's it. it. So Mu's getting the first game here. But that was a good that was to come back there uh, for Shiny, but man. Muj was definitely probably feeling the pressure there. Let's see if uh, he can follow through and keep it going with the wins. Oh, Shiny switching to Bayo. Bold move. I oh, think, got the wrong skin. I think uh, I think Shiny probably played uh, Diddy in the uh, winner's final set, or sorry, in the winner's set. Um, so I don't know what it came but uh, he does have a reasonable Bayonetta, uh, so it's definitely possible. Hoping for that Bayonetta jank <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of Bayo, but I admit she's a good character, but I do not like her one bit. <laughs> I agree. It's a touch up here. Why do you do that with Bayo? That's like a Mewtwo thing. I do it with just about every character, unintentionally mostly. It just kind of happens technical flubs with my inputs. I panic so are you just I... trying to run up and like shield and yeah you're jumping? I, I don't understand. The thing is like I'll tense up and I try to uh, 
jump Zare. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, jump air dodge if, if you're using a Yeah, that makes sense. That's entirely... Yeah, Zare, oh, oh my lord. And then just That's entirely ex expect, yeah, acceptable. That's the word I'm looking for there. And then there's sometimes with Mario where I just, like, my hands just oh, do something weird. Oh my god. Weird. There, oh, that's not a stock, though. Hits yeah, well, hard, here's but not the thing. Hard. Here's the thing. He needed to, like, since Corrin was in the trunk, he needed to do... Oh my lord. Um, he needed to execute his moves sooner rather than later because, uh, oh my lord. Yeah. Shiny, you're yeah. so bad. But you still get the kill, though. That's good. Yep, good. Um, <laughs> that was like the sloppiest switch time kill I've ever seen. Insane. That was unbelievably sloppy. Like, if he was on stage and landed because the back, or how, many, just, how many times did he, like, miss landing on the stage to jump to miss landing on the stage to just, like, try to get him? And he finally just knocks him off stage and follows it up. He's like, just lucky wish time lasts for a long time when it's, fr when it's not, like... Yeah, when it's uh, fresh. When it's fresh. But he's used it like he's hit three witch times so far and has taken uh, taken one stock. But he's uh, looks like he's done a couple more witch times, so it's kind of hitting. That's I know that I need to look it up, but I know that Shulk has uh, six stages to his counter. I don't know how many Bayo has. Ooh, I don't oh, know. Why I went for the pull arts there. So let's see. Shiny might pull this back with a weird Bayo combo. Well. Pull it back, I mean, finish it off. Yeah. So, let's see if Mooj can pull this out and uh, just finish the stop. It's gonna off. be hard because, like, when Bayo gets in, Bayo gets in. Yeah. Oh my god, what a read. That If not, it was just kind of like trying to zone and uh, force an option. Yeah, I think he was probably like trying said, to zone because he's been doing that a lot, just sitting on stage and doing it. I think he was just, either that or he actually felt like he was going to go for it because he's been doing it on stage and forcing him to go lower, so he just kind of fell and did it rather than going on stage and doing it. Oh, oh down there's going to do it. it. That's going to yeah, finish that down, stock. Dare's strong. Dare is strong. Good stuff on Shiny on that one to uh, kind of bring it, bring it to a 1-1 one, because one, you don't want to fall back like 0-2 on a set. It yeah. makes you like mental game so much harder to uh, stick with so but going to the fifth round is also very mentally straining because you're like because you played so many matches but the thing is too like you're under like you should generally understand the patterns that your opponent's going for and things like that so I like, granted it's a you know two layer thing so both players are able to do it well, that kind of benefits the players that uh, have multiple styles as well. So if you look at it, you know, Shiny right now is just going to be playing the Campy Bayo. Um, he wasn't doing that too much in that uh, last game, but... Just trying to mix it up with the camp this time. All right, and Bayo's a really kind of a easy trigger, or easy switch to kind of change between the two different play styles. Because, like, her neutral isn't necessarily the best. It's very, like, read and uh, reaction based. Oh, that was but, a man, this is, uh, Kind of a mild clinic on the part of uh, on the part of Mooj right now. Mooj is just trying to play safe and just not get caught into anything dumb. Yeah, you like the thing is you can't just throw out hitboxes consistently against Bayo. Like uh, what happened last match was that was just a lot of witch times that came out on the part of Shiny. And so like, oof, oof, good, uh, good spot dodge. Spot I thought, dodge, I, right? thought I thought I think wait late witch time. I thought my understanding was late late witch time. You actually get that with it. You as get well. that with late witch time, air dodge, and spot dodge and roll. Yeah. I don't know which one it was. It looked like spot dodge. That it might have been a late. It witch looked like witch time to me. Cause he would he like rolled off the stage as well. Yeah. What's the split? Is it 60-40? 60, 40, 40, 30, 15, 10, 5. I'm gonna have to type that out. What'd you say? 40, 30, 40, 30, 70, 15 is 85, 10, 5. Yep, that's a, that adds up. 40, 30, 15, well, 10, 5. Yeah. So 40, 30 makes it 70. 40, 30, 15. 15 makes it 85, the 10 makes it 95. 40, 45, 30, 15, 10. Oh, getting a, a counter with corn. Just finishing off Ben at a stop. Oh, bad air dodge. It's one thing that I've learned is somewhat consistent Ooh. on punishing. Oh, that's the Full stop. Full charge, yep. 
shiny even it up and being very disrespectful with that down to, well, with that taunt. I don't know which taunt it was, but it was a taunt. If you play Bayo, you just taunt. Like, it's literally what you do as Bayo. It's kind of like how Captain Falcon passed the down taunt. Sure, you can this. Yeah. Now, if you can do the perfect pitcher down taunt, that's, that's, that's better. That's easy. Yeah. One, if you don't know the rhythm to begin with and you don't have somebody to tell you the rhythm, it's a little bit tricky. And then once you know the rhythm, it's Well, just I mean, just, yeah, you have to just watch my Smash Corners video on perfect pivoting. Pivoting and then it'll help you out. You'll be like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. That's some really solid shield pressure. Yeah. Um, but the only problem is, like... Can't follow through with it, can you? Yeah, well, here's the. Oh, oh is that the stock? Snap, no, no, it's not. Uh, but Mooch caused so much. Oh, the, the read. <laughs> well, and that's actually one thing Bayonetta, you know, doesn't snap ledge super well. And so she kind of peeks up a little bit. And uh, Corrin has a really good uh, disjointed forward smash that can, like, go over that ledge. And so if you think about it, it's like. That's optimal, yeah. right? Side B and forward smash are both really good options to cover anybody that peeks over ledge, and so that's definitely a really good, uh, good option. really good option. Absolutely. Shiny opting back for the uh, Diddy, in particular on uh, sorry on FD. That's a really good stage for Diddy, Kong. and it's also not a good stage for uh, for Bayo. Omega Wily, I feel, is really good for uh, Corn because uh, you can just pin your way back up. So if you're low, you can just pin it and jump and you get. I mean, aids you in the recovery, sure, but you also have to look at the fact that uh, Diddy Kong has like also gets a wall jump out of yeah. this as well, and FD just kind of forces a lot of interaction. And Corn really likes to juggle people on uh, platforms and gets a lot out of platforms as well. So. Uh, that's this something benefits to give more than Oh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, this I think I say FD and. Um, FD and Talon are uh, Diddy Kong's two best stages because like Diddy can get some things off of platforms, but like it's not as much as say you know a character like CSS or or something like that. So I can see how this benefits Diddy more. He's a very useful this character. And yeah, this forces the grounded interactions, and so uh, Shiny's able to get a lot out of Banana as well. So as you can see right there, oh, reverse Banana hit. to the reverse <laughs> F smash. Not gonna get the kill because it's the reverse. Oh, he missed that punish. Maybe. Well, I wonder what he was going for there because he turned he pivoted down tilt. Ooh, oh, that's the stock. So that was some actually swift movement on Shiny's part. Yeah. Um, and I will say there is sometimes like Shiny just wakes up and he is, just goes mad. And uh, right. like right now it's looking super crisp. Um, Let's see if he can hold it though, because as you said earlier, some he, like he'll. He'll fall back after going mad, though, sometimes. Right. And I'll say, like, Mooj is good about, like, kind of the cons consistent tempo. Like, he doesn't go above and beyond, but he gets, like, really good edge situations. And so, like, he's able to capitalize on people's, like, get-up options or uh, recovery options. And so he's really good about covering that. Um, but not necessarily going off stage because that's not, like, part of Koran's kit. Uh, but, like, right now you just see Shiny just keeping... Uh, Keeping the stage, keeping control, and that's a. Uh, this is tossed the banana to kind of. Oh, ooh. And one other thing too is uh, Mooch has a really big habit of jumping from ledge. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm sure you've noticed that. I think Shiny might be able to pick up on that visually anyway. Um, I think he's mostly not punishing too much on it, so he can actually get a proper setup on right, it. Right, and get a kill out of it. Because like sometimes like some people are gonna have a really big habit, and you kind of want to make sure that they're keep the like habit. keep that habit flowing. But uh, Shiny, Shiny in with the in with the nanner on FD, so. So looking into game five, which is nice. I like seeing game fives. It's I love seeing good. I play. do too because it means that my ad revenue is like true. Yeah. <laughs> Even though like I still don't get anything out of it. Like it's my Google Assets still just tells me oh it's a dollar and fifty cents for like a month like last month. I'm just like, come on. Can we get up to like enough viewers and enough uh uh, views just in general on the videos just so we can actually get some revenue for running <laughs> this whole stream and everything like that. I give you guys like six hours a week of my time and I don't get anything out of it. Outside of the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the satisfaction, I guess, of uh, 
putting things together for people. Pleasure and satisfaction. Yeah. I don't know. Plus, I don't think pleasure or satisfaction just sounds. They don't. They sound they wrong. Did, they, they definitely sound wrong. They don't sound they like fit, the right thing. They but they they sound wrong. <laughs> you just have I to feel have like that kind a of mind, right? <laughs> I feel like I feel like there's a better word for it. I, I agree. Not seen. <laughs> Man, you see words? That's crazy. I didn't know you were reading. Uh, uh, <laughs> look at that chat. Yeah. Right. Hurts with the uh, call out on the side B for the Bayos. Yeah. Shiny was throwing him out, but they worked. Right now, the neutral game is going fairly well, but Corn uh, getting a stage choice on the uh, battlefield. Benefiting Corn more than Diddy, right? Uh, yeah, Corn does get quite a bit. There is a little bit of Diddy tag that he can do on the stage, uh, but like, if you look at it objectively, Corn uh, does get a lot more out of it. Uh, the Platforms give really good juggle situations, force tech situations, Ooh. and uh, you know. also helps with getting out of combos because you, uh, you have more landing options. Exactly. And the other thing too is uh, Corrin's heavier than Diddy Kong, and so you're going to see higher percents on oh. the uh, on Corrin as opposed to Diddy Kong. So off the top getting Star KO. His perfect pivot's not looking crisp right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he missed just like three in a row while while Diddy was dying. So is it optimal to practice perfect pivots while mid match? Playing? Oh, absolutely! It's mind games, dude. It's even better if you just do like seven platform cancels in a row. Or if you as uh, Paltana specifically. Or if you're in 64 and do uh, like f three perfect pivot down tilts. You know what I'm uh, saying? Oh, oh yeah. Isaiah. Well, yeah. Isaiah's a monster though. That guy is insane. Um, but I I don't know if you noticed that, but. Um, Mooj went for a nair, and then he waited to do the side B. He was trying to see if uh, Shiny was going to go for an aggressive option, uh, or possibly air dodge down. Woo! See Corrin coming in and being so he can punish it. Hefty, yeah, exactly. And so, like, at lower percents, nair doesn't really work as a combo uh, starter, per se. Um, but there's but against, a lot At of least rage. against Diddy, so. Yeah, yeah. and Rage kind of helps, to, like, hinders that, so. Uh, good on Mooj to kind of like look out and scout what options he's looking to uh, incorporate. So avoiding the down tilt that's that's very important. <gasps> Ooh, magnet hands. Oh my god, this is actually pretty sketch. But Shiny really needs this stock because uh, right now 41% deficit is really it's a big deficit. Even though I'm, like looking at it objectively, it doesn't look like it, but. Corn dies a lot harder. Yeah, a lot higher. Like, okay, if you look at the difference on percent, it was 120 percent to 170. So it's it's tough. So if you think about it that way, he's down by 120 percent. Yeah, even more now. <laughs> yeah. Everything in life is relative, right? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Ooh hitbox. Going Shiny, stage. like. When Shiny's at a deficit like this, he really looks for the offstage uh, games and the dunks and stuff like that, which uh, could be it. bad, but also could um, be good. But no, it's really good because like you're able to if you're, you have rage and you're that far down. Oh, oh my Moosh, god! Why, oh my Moosh. gosh! Oh, Shiny taking that clip, one. Clip, please. Clip. Hurts, hurts. Clip it, my dude. My dude with the clips, chat, where are you? Why are there only like seven of you guys watching? Come on, guys. Why are there only seven, like, like what? Yeet Smash is here. Shiny, I want to hug you right now. Get, put, put the <laughs> camera on. I, mean, I, don't have a player, I don't have a commentator cam set up. <laughs> just guys, just, all you have 20. to do is you have to watch it. What was it, 27? <laughs> I can't believe it. Why? <laughs> Jaguar, did you get the clip? I don't 